Hey, this is Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So today is just going to be an energy read, a um, full Celtic cross for everybody for this week coming forward. The energy we need going through this next week. Let's see how that works. So I thought I'd use today this uh, Visconti Sforza tarot deck. Um, these are just kind of a collector thing. I mean, they're not worth anything, but they remind you of, of nice, uh, the origins of the tarot. And uh, so they, they come in a nice box. You know, really crazy about the good boxes. The um, the guidebook, I guess you could call it, that comes with these, the pamphlet, uh, does give you some interesting information on who this uh, these people were. So this was around the uh, mid 1400s to so the mid 15th century, and um, we had uh, Francesco Sforza, and then uh, his wife uh, Bianca Maria Visconti. So these are the uh, Visconti Sforza tarot deck, and this just would have been a fun thing for folks of that time to do. And uh, it's just a different look of the kind of tarot that we're used to. And uh, so it can be a little interesting to try to interpret it. But why not? You know, let's give it a shot. Just take our time and let's see uh, what comes of this uh, little experiment here. Their cool cards are huge. And they look really neat. You know, they look like they are uh, a display quality of some kind. And uh, I can see where if you use them a lot and they started to get worn, where they'd really be an interesting uh, deck of cards to use. Of course, you could probably see that some of, the, some of the problem is, is that the symbolism is very, I mean, you need to know what these cards mean. There's no uh, picture uh, hints uh, in, in most of them, except for the, um, the major arcana, which are, and sometimes even those are a little difficult to uh, interpret. Uh, just what the card is, just because we um, are so used to the Rider Waite type of uh, uh, pictorial communication, I guess you want to say. But um, but these are neat, so we're going to give them a shot. Um, and I don't remember, I've had these for quite a long time. I don't know what they cost, but they they feel like a nice uh, card. And they're other than they're, they're odd and big, you know, they're not hard to use. So, you know, there's that. So energy reading for today, for this week, for all the folks who regularly watch this, this, this um, uh, tarot reading. So energy reading for everyone who watches regularly. Let's see if that can be something that can be determined uh, this way. This will be a first for me. So as most of you know, I'm kind of new to uh, this tarot uh, situation. Uh, sometimes though, the <laughs> spreads that come out are alarmingly um, like exactly uh, what the subject is. Um, I mean, really, sometimes I'm shocked. And um, so we'll see what happens here. I'm sure it's just coincidence. I mean, if you do this every day, um, uh, I suppose uh, you would expect some um, synchronicity to slip in there somehow. Uh, but anyway, so energy reading for all of us for this coming week. Let's split these cards in half. Let's spread them. And go ahead and take six cards to get this read going. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, put these away because we're going to need four more in just a minute. And uh, see what we have here. As So let me see if I remember there was a secret about these cards. Yeah. So there's a way that you know whether this card is upright or reversed. And that's because all the backs of these cards are exactly the same. It's just reprinted over and over again for each card. So they're exactly the same. They look kind of authentic looking because of the pattern and the coloring. But um, if the card is upright, in fact, there'll be a little knot hole right here. And if the card is uh, inverted, uh, reversed, then it will just be the scuffy looking part up. And you'll know, oh, okay, this one's reversed and that one's uh, upright. But um, as many of you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a friend of the uh, reverse cards. I'm not confident in my divination for those, so I'm hoping that I've been very careful and not uh, made that happen. But anyway, so the um, signifier for this reading, that's, oh good, it's a picture card that I can uh, probably figure out. The signature card for this reading 
is going to be the king of this is coins so I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, so yeah this is the king and he's holding the coin it's very faint uh, in his hand right here and uh, so the king of coin is the signifier for this uh, reading for an energy reading for this week coming up so that you know that just says to me be in charge of your value understand what your worth is uh, don't shortchange yourself and don't uh, you know don't feel like you're worth more than you are you know be realistic look in the mirror you know, get a weight on this and um, and uh, so this one starts with uh, let's recognizing ourselves so I think that's, that's pretty good so the uh, challenge to that then the energy for this week coming up is gonna be okay one two three four five of swords and the five of swords is disappointment you know um, um, feeling um, that someone's taken advantage of or that you maybe you're taking advantage of or you know some sort of uh, misalignment uh, with a mal intent there so um, the five of swords is the challenge to understanding our value okay so this is starting to build the um, basis for this reading then is who are you my dear your justice okay so this is justice uh, you can see that she has the scales right here she's got the sword of truth uh, I'm gonna say in one uh, one side and uh, so this is justice and so this is a major ar arcana and so see you just have to, to know and then you even have to kind of look deeper into it to see if it has all the symbols that enough to uh, confirm to you that it is the core that you believe it should be so anyway, so uh, we have a get, a get a handle on your value, um, understand uh, there's some distrust or some disappointment uh, um, involved here. And uh, the basis of this reading then is to, uh, let's be fair about this, you know, be honest about what we're dealing with. In the past uh, here is going to be, and who are you? So this is a queen of something. She's a queen of wands. This is the wand that she has right here. I don't know if you can see it. The wand and this is her crown ever so faintly up here on top but uh, the queen of uh, wands so again uh, this is you know someone who's going to make uh, something uh, happen uh, with some confidence uh, so uh, someone who's in charge of this plan of getting this idea on the go so that's uh, what it co we come into this with okay and then to uh, come be signified as the king of uh, pentacles then the um, uh, in the sky for this reading um, is a page of coin so uh, here uh, he is the young man, the young page, the young guy at court, the messenger bringing in a big handful of coin here. And so, you know, this guy can only offer up this idea. Uh, so uh, that's what's going on here. There was the idea of some coin or some, it could be actual, you know, an idea of a venture that would uh, bring some value. Or it could be just the idea of upping my personal uh, uh, value somehow. Um, you know, sometimes jockeying for a position in what you're doing and just even getting a job, period. Uh, so that's what that looks like to me. Uh, the page of coin was uh, what to hope for here. And then um, let's see. So the likely outcome of this part of this Celtic cross is the. Okay, if you're the Queen of Wands, then who the heck were you? Okay, the Queen of Wands has to be. Are you an Empress? You are. Okay, this is the Empress, I uh, recognize from the red slippers. Okay, yep, and the tall crown. So this Empress, uh, where are we at? Let's see, the likely outcome for this is the Empress. So that's being a totally um, uh, recognized for your value. You know, that's what's going to happen to uh, this uh, person when they make an appearance. Everyone knows instantly, uh, you know, just this little signal right here is, okay, she's here. And uh, that's uh, what's going to be the likely outcome for the first part of this Celtic cross. So let's finish it off right off the top here. The self, the self uh, for the energy for this week. Well, let's say, yeah, the self for the energy this week is going to be a big ace of wands. Um, in French, with very bad pronunciation, this basically says avant-droit. So a good right. You have a good right here. Here is a big offer of wands and uh, a big idea, big plan, uh, some movement. Uh, that is definitely the self that we need to recognize this week. The um, environment that that's in, however, is okay. This is the King of this is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is uh, again. So that's that's very good. So we're doubling down of being in charge of a plan uh, to move this uh, forward for ourselves. So that's excellent. And then the likely outcome for this is ah, 
oh, this is the fool. That's perfect. I thought it was the devil for a minute. No, this is the fool. So this is the likely outcome of all of this is to get started on that new journey. So maybe this week is just recognizing our strengths, uh, getting ourselves ready, and understanding that there's uh, something coming up that's going to be really good for us. Okay, so that was the read, the energy read for today. And we started out, uh, uh, identified ourselves as the king of coin, you know, kind of uh, measuring our own value. And maybe we felt that there was a little bit of betrayal somewhere uh, in there. Uh, we had a lot of justice on our side uh, going into this. And then uh, we eventually end up with, um, in the uh, final outcome, the fool, which is ready for our new journey and getting on with uh, another step here. So pretty straightforward reading, I think. I'm Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. Thank you so very much for coming along. I'll be here tomorrow, so let's go somewhere then, too. All right? Ciao for now.